So it's Christmas Eve and we're trying to be really quiet because someone's resting on the couch as you can see. But you know what? Enough's enough. Hey, it's time to get up. Have I got a place for you? You guys are going on here next. I hope you guys like that. We always start like to start our videos with a little bit of comedy. Okay, there's gonna be two different videos on this series. Uh, today, it's Christmas Eve. Tomorrow, Christmas Day, we're gonna uh, do our first rib cook on this channel. Definitely don't wanna miss that. Today, like I told you guys before, we're gonna do the burn-in on this Masterbuilt 1050. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. <clears throat> um, gotta run and get my extension cord because you do have to have power to it. We're gonna fill this full of lump charcoal, light it up, follow the instructions, burn it in. That's gonna conclude that video. And then tomorrow, whenever it's time to put the ribs on this grill, we're gonna bring you back for that. So stay tuned. All right guys, first thing we gotta do is fill up this humongous cabinet with charcoal. Okay, that was a chore. Um, unfortunately, everything I just filled up in this basket is gonna go to waste, not really, but kind of. Um, you gotta burn these grills in when you first get them. They're sopping with oil inside. You don't wanna cook meat on that and serve that to your family. So, um, next thing you wanna do after you fill your basket up, uh, this top piece right here, it is recommended that you uh, put a uh, uh, couple pieces of aluminum foil over this to protect this. Um, but we're not gonna do that this time because I want to uh, properly burn it in. So we're gonna shut it, latch it. Next step you wanna do, take these out. Those are your dampers. If you try to light this without those in, you're never gonna get any heat over into this cabinet. So I'm gonna hang them right there. What we're gonna do next is come over here, light the charcoal, let it burn in. Okay, now this, to my understanding, is the tough part. We can see these tumbleweeds, they don't, they just don't wanna fit. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda unroll them, flatten them out a little bit, and then shove them in there. They, they need to make this hole a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna use two. I guess you could squash them with something if you wanted to, but just kind of unroll them and flatten them, shove them in there. All right, here we go. Got the tumbleweeds in. Just gonna give them a good lighting. here. Turn your power on. Press your temperature button. We're going to start at about 250. As you can see, the fan is kicking on and it looks like we're working. Right, guys we followed our directions um, we've got the tumbleweeds lit as you can see the grill is smoking and to my understanding these things smoke really bad uh, the first time that you light them up uh, they do recommend 10 foot from the house um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna try it out uh, safety first I've got my fire extinguisher ready to go if anything were to happen I got a garden hose strung out here uh, so we're just gonna burn it up burn it up burn it out burn it in um, I'm going to just make sure and test the grill. I've, I've got it set for 255 right now. I want to make sure that it reaches that temperature and shuts off like it's supposed to. After that, I'm going to crank it up to 400 and just let it rip. Um, once it burns all of that charcoal up, then at that point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, 
let it cool down and I'm gonna spray it really heavily with duck fat. If you don't have duck fat, you could spray it with olive oil, cooking spray, whatever. You just wanna completely saturate the inside of it, cooking surfaces and non-cooking surfaces inside of it uh, to make sure that it's sealed, cured, and ready to go. So the new ones I heard are already, this is already done from what I heard. Uh, the burn-in's already done on it. So basically you hook them up and they're good to go. So we'll, uh, we'll bring you back when it's hit its temperature and it's burning in, we'll keep you posted throughout the video. But uh, yeah, that's what we got going on today. Hey guys, we're gonna wrap this video up. Thanks for tuning in for this short video. Just wanted to show you how to burn this grill in. Smoker, excuse me. Uh, what I've done is I've gradually cranked the temperature up on this slower and slower. Right now I've got it set to 450 and it's maintaining 452. And it, man, this is just a cool grill. It's like you fill it up. We're going to recap on it pretty quick. Um, you see me fill the charcoal. It's got three different switches on it. It's got one on the lid, which I'll show you here, right over here. It's got a switch right there. And as you can see on the grill right now, it says open. It's letting you know that your grill is open. This thing recovers heat so quick, it's unreal. Um, it's got a switch up here and a switch up here. So if you open either one of those parts of the grill, the fan stops um, and it'll prevent the grill from getting any hotter. But you don't wanna open the top of this once you have your charcoal lit. Uh, you don't want to open this up or even the bottom one for that matter because you do you do get a pretty severe flare up now i will tell you that this hopper holds a lot of charcoal i'm a fan of lump charcoal so that's primarily what i use but you don't get the longevity of lump charcoal as you would from briquettes um so i'm going to go ahead and say after doing the burn-in on this grill that after about two and a half to three hours you need to pull this top up, check it, see how much you've got left in there and probably top it off. You know, if you're doing a really long smoke, like a brisket or something like that, I think it's safe to say that with briquettes, you could probably get away with five to six hours, but you need to probably check it about the five and a half hour mark and top it off. Um, because I can hear the charcoal falling in here as this thing is lit and cooking. So I know it's using it and it's using the lump charcoal a lot quicker. Um, we'll do more videos on this Masterbuilt 1050. Uh, it's just an amazing grill. Once you light it, it's like I would go from 200 and then I would crank it up to three and it was up to 300 within, you know, a matter of seconds. I mean, and I'm talking probably 15, 20 seconds. Um, now the temperature in the box is coming up that hot, but if you know, you're trying to reach a certain smoking temperature, remember your grates are going to take a little bit longer to reach that temperature because they are made of metal and they have to conduct a little bit more heat to get to that temperature. So that probe that's in there is just measuring the box temperature. Anyways, overall a great grill. What we're going to do at this point, I'm going to crank it up to 500. I'm going to use the rest of my charcoal here, probably about another hour, two hours. Uh, we've had it on about two and a half to three hours now, burning all that crap out of the inside uh, that they pack it in. We're going to let it cool down, spray it with duck fat, uh, let it cool down overnight. And then uh, uh, you just heard that kind of jittered me there for a second because you can hear charcoal falling in here. Um, going to let it cool down overnight. Come back tomorrow, fire it up, cook some amazing ribs on it. You guys don't want to miss that. So please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, leave me a comment, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas.